Today I'm going to share my top 10 tips to creating beautiful makeup on mature skin. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. I'm really excited to share with you my tips and tricks today. So if you've got mature skin, wrinkly skin, creepy skin, just older skin in general, there are a few things that you can do that really up your makeup game. So let's get started. Tip number one, before you even get started, this is the best trick ever. So we're going to do a lymphatic drainage, gentle massage. It's tapping. It feels so, so good and you're going to love it. And you can do this every single morning to reduce your puffiness. So all you do is you start at the inner part of your face and you use your fingers to gently tap away all of the fluid and what you're doing is taking all the fluid out of your face via your lymphatic drainage points it really works like magic do this step while you've got your cleanser on and you will notice a huge difference just keep going with this until you feel good then wash your cleanser off and you're ready to start tip number two after you've cleaned your skin and done your lymphatic drainage massage we're going to exfoliate the skin because as we get older, those dead skin cells sit on our skin and make our skin look really old and flaky. So a practice of doing exfoliation once or twice a week is really beneficial on mature skin. And every time you exfoliate your skin in a gentle way, it feels beautiful. Your skin feels so much nicer than it did before. I like to use a homemade recipe, which is bicarb soda combined with an inexpensive cleanser mix it together and then just gently massage it into my skin and you can feel all of those dead skin cells flaking off and when I'm traveling I use the Mario Badescu botanical exfoliating scrub this is beautiful it's gentle and it makes your skin feel beautiful tip number three is to tinkle this is a blade that takes away all the fine hairs on your face. And as we're getting older, we can accumulate a lot of fine hairs around our lip and our chin and around here. And when you use a blade to gently take it away, your skin feels so beautiful. And then when you apply your foundation afterwards, it goes on so smooth. Now, not everybody loves doing this because the hair does grow back. It doesn't grow back thicker at all. But what it does do is it grows back different. So it's got a blunt edge on the hair. And when the hair grows out with a blunt edge it's different to the natural hair that's got a, a fine edge so that's the difference it's not growing back thicker it's just growing back different but if you have a lot of hair showing around this area and when the sun shines on it it's very very noticeable this is the perfect option I love doing this particularly on my upper lip and that's how I was introduced to them because I was waxing and waxing is so bad for you when you've got mature skin and wrinkly lips. It just makes it worse because it's so harsh. But these little guys, they just gently take away the hair, no pain, two seconds and it's done. And all you do is gently just go down. It's so simple. It's not like a man shaving with shaving cream. It's just gentle and easy. And you know, you don't really have to do much just to get rid of all that fluff. It makes a huge difference for beautiful, mature skin. And tip number four is to tweeze because makeup on mature skin can be completely ruined if there's a whole lot of hair sticking out where it shouldn't be. So it's really important as we're getting older to get into the mirror and just check for stray hairs. It's just one of those extra things we have to do as we're getting older, but it doesn't matter how beautiful your makeup is. If you've got hair sticking out, that's what someone's gonna be looking at as they're talking to you. So get a good pair of tweezers. I'll leave a link to the tweezers that I use for precision and ease. And tip number five is to use a magnifying mirror. If we're just putting our makeup on in a normal mirror, we're not going to see all of the detail as well as we could when we were younger. Of course, some are going to have perfect eyesight. 
lucky you but for the rest of us a magnifying mirror gives us precision and we can really mess up <laughs> particularly our eyes if we're not using a magnifying mirror and it really affects the whole overall makeup look this mirror here is a 10 times magnification which is fantastic and this is my travel mirror so when you're at a hotel or when you're away you can take this part and stick it onto the mirror and you can do your makeup and not get all stressed out that you can't see anything and you can just put it on a bench it's it sits flat like this it swivels and really it's the perfect mirror you can put this on your mirror at home as well if you want to keep it suctioned in I have a different mirror uh, in my bathroom that sort of comes out and I can move it around so I'll leave a link to one of those if I can find one but magnifying mirrors make a huge difference so make sure you're using one tip number six prime 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 it's a crime not to prime particularly on mature skin and when you put a primer on your face and your eyes your makeup look is more beautiful and it's more cohesive for my eyeshadow i use the Too faced insurance and you pat that on your eye before you do your eyeshadow and it makes sure that you don't get creases it makes the eyeshadow color more intense and it makes your eyeshadow last a lot longer and for your face having a primer underneath your foundation is just a no-brainer for mature skin because it makes your foundation last longer it gives it a nicer finish and it's it makes your foundation more durable and at the moment I'm using Giorgio Armani uh, fluid master primer this is beautiful when you put it on your skin it feels beautiful and you just know that you're preparing your skin for something even better when the foundation goes on and for a more affordable one this NYX Angel Veil is really inexpensive and the feel is like velvet it's so beautiful this and this are worlds apart in price but they're not worlds apart in performance you would be just as happy with either and if I'm using a wax based foundation which I love this one here is my beautiful friend it just feels so beautiful under the skin and it keeps my makeup my foundation locked in for the whole day so I'll leave a link to this oh I love this one tip number seven invest in a good foundation foundation on mature skin is going to even out the whole skin tone so it's a very important step you don't have to spend a lot of money but just make sure that you do lots of testing on all the different ones that are out there and find something that really suits your skin I've got dry skin and I'll show you the ones that I use but if you've got oily skin test them first to see if your skin will last all day in them before you buy and I think that older skin and mature skin looks so beautiful when it's got some luminosity to it and that will be achieved with a foundation that's got light reflecting particles or you can have a cream foundation and then you can add light reflecting particles afterwards so the luminous silk by Giorgio Armani is a really beautiful foundation it has light reflecting particles and it's got a really good coverage to get rid of any discoloration in your skin and when you put it on it doesn't feel like you've got a thick coating of makeup on and it's a really beautiful one to try if you want a luminous look I also love the RCMA this is just like for me this is probably what I go to first and this is not as expensive this one here has got a whole lot of colors that you can mix to create the perfect color for you so you'd never be caught having a foundation that's too dark or too light plus you can use the lighter shades combined for your uh, concealer or highlight and the darker colors could be for contouring and bronzing so this is an amazing palette this is a wax based foundation it is so beautiful it's so skin like with the perfect coverage and I use this primer to go with it but here's the great thing you can pick the individual colors 
from RCMA and they're very inexpensive and they last I think it would last you longer than a year because you only need a tiny little bit and then you pat it in and brush it on so to create beautiful mature skin your foundation is going to be the thing that's the most important that base and all the work we've just done to get to the base it all makes a huge difference. Tip number eight, using a foundation brush or a beauty blender will really up your foundation game. So when we've got mature skin and wrinkles and fine lines, if you apply foundation and don't apply it in the right way, it's just gonna sit in all of your wrinkles. <laughs> and then by a couple of hours later, you're just gonna have all these lines. So that's why brushing and buffing is so important. So I use a couple of different types of brushes. This one here is the Sigma Kabuki and it's so nice for really getting your foundation in and buffing it around. And the shape of this goes under your eyes and you can just, oh, it feels so beautiful. And this is quite well priced. Then I've got, this is my Ray Morris Kabuki brush and this is just an, oh, an all rounder that really gets into all of the fine lines. So you just buff your foundation in and really go around in circles so that you don't have anything sitting in your lines. And when you're applying foundation, try not to put too much heavy foundation out where the lines are around here because that's just going to bring attention to it when you're outside and it's different lighting to what you have in the mirror at home. So if you're going to layer, layer around this area and then buff. And then you're going to have a flawless look. And tip number nine for beautiful, glowing, mature skin is to use a setting spray. I use the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 because for me, this gives me everything. It gives me a radiance. And as we're getting older, we can't get enough radiance <laughs> because it's mimicking a youthful look. And this is just, oh, it's magical and it feels nice. And when you put it on, you can either tap it in with a beauty blender or you can just very gently push it in with your foundation brush. But it gives you just a beautiful glow. And my last tip to create beautiful makeup for mature skin is to add some light to your skin. So adding light in the right places is gonna give you a 3D effect and it's just gonna make your face come alive because when we get older, our faces can become kind of flat and dull. <laughs> and we don't want that. So magic happens when you put the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on your face. I'm gonna show you, but there's lots of things that you can use and I'll show you the effect we're going to get. So you just add a little bit, you take your setting spray and spray your beauty blender, dab it in and then take the flawless filter and you're going to apply it to the high points. It's just like a magical formula that kind of has invisible perfection. Okay, another thing you can use is something like a Clinique Chubby Stick. These are great and just tap it in. This has got a really nice glow as well. And this is amazing on your arms and your shoulders and your decolletage. I'd love to hear your secrets. Leave a comment below and let all of us know what your number one tip is to creating beautiful skin now that you're over 50. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.